And now you want to approve Trans-Pacific Partnership. You were totally in favor of it. Then you heard what I was saying, how bad it is, and you said, I can't win that debate. But you know that if you did win, you would approve that. And then you heard what I said about it, and all of a sudden you were against it. Well, Donald, I know you live in your own reality, but oh, yeah. that is not the facts. She's telling us how to fight ISIS. Just go to her website. She tells you how to fight ISIS on her website. I don't think General Douglas MacArthur would like that right, too the much. Next, the, next, the next segment, we're continuing well, the subject. Well, at least I have a plan to fight ISIS. Prosperity. No, no, you're telling the enemy everything you want to do. No. The other day, behind the blue screen, I don't know who you were talking to, Secretary Clinton, but you were totally out of control. I said, there's a person with a temperament that's got a problem. Secretary Clinton. Woo! Okay. <laughs> I saw Donald saying that there were some Iranian sailors on a ship in the waters off of Iran, and they were taunting American sailors who were on a nearby ship. He said, you know, if they taunted our sailors, I'd blow them out of the water and start another war. That's that would not, not good judgment. War. That is not the right temperament to be commander-in-chief. The single greatest problem the world has is nuclear armament, nuclear weapons. Not global warming like you think and your, your president thinks. I have a feeling that by the end of this evening, I'm going to be blamed for everything that's ever happened. Why not? Why not? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Jo you know, just 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 join uh, join the debate by uh, saying more crazy things. Now.